this has been bothering the hell out of me because I'm getting all right throttle response but it seems to be bogging down and it seems to be running rich so I know why don't I follow the directions one thing that I screwed up on after following directions is that the throttle right here is connected to the automatic oiler which is connected to a dual throttle piece right here I've been playing and playing and playing with the th with the throttle uh, raising and lowering the uh, throttle valve setting the idle playing around with all the uh, up here this throttle things up here and I have not been doing the corresponding work with the oil the automatic oiler now the automatic oiler has a mark and I don't know if you can see it maybe. I think damn it where is it Anyway, it's a little tiny piece of metal that sticks just to the left of that uh, brass nipple. And when the throttle is fully opened, the mark on the spring will line up there. And the thing is, I think that it says in the instructions, first of all, give the throttle two to six millimeters of, of free clearance which it doesn't have any all right it's too tight after you do that then adjust the oil mixer you can see here I got oil coming out of my exhaust so I think I've got too much oil so I'm going to follow the directions and see if I can get this in a little bit better shape this is the way I do things because I want everything to be correct. Before I go on to uh, the Dio engine, which will probably start tomorrow morning. Um, I, I believe it will start tomorrow morning. I have Saturday off and it's going to start tomorrow morning. It's just hard working on these little bikes when I realized that the parts are very, very old and they're they're unreplaceable. There was a guy on the internet on eBay. He wanted seventy-five dollars for this little speedometer. He wanted twenty dollars for one grip, not two, just one. You see this little bolt right here, this little screw right here? You notice there's two little screws. One of them is the idle. The second one lower is the um, automatic air screw for the idle. This guy wants $10 for that top screw. When you could get the whole damn carburetor for $20.95. I'm like, dude. You know, why don't you slap a Ferrari or a Lamborghini uh, sticker on all your parts? Because that's a whole lot of money. And if you can make the money on a 33-year-old bike, uh, well, that's great. But some of these people are just too damn greedy. They're just too damn greedy. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm going to unadjust this and leave it wide open. I will um, take the screw off the throttle slide idle, give it all kinds of free play. Then I will go in and take off this um, oil thing and, and check the nut on it. Maybe I'll get it where I want it. 
You know, and some people say, well, why are you being so damn picky about this? Why are you being so damn picky about this? Well, if, if I wasn't this picky, then I wouldn't have my deals the same way. I wouldn't have this huge channel with, like this. All right, I'm gonna, I really got a nice, nice, it's a nice April day in Washington State. And we don't have too many palm trees here or anything like that, but we don't have too many 20 foot crocodiles either, like Australia. 